Okay, hello, good morning everyone. Uh, okay, we are live currently again uh, from Ever AI Technologies. Thank you very much for coming in to join us in our FB Live today. Today we are going to have the uh, webinar, uh, free webinar actually this one, to introduce computer vision. You will see amazing things uh, from the computer vision that will be uh, explained by our Dr. Sai Chong Ye. So later you are going to see uh, how uh, the Dr. Sai Chong Ye is going to do the demo on that. So before that, actually, this webinar is a part of our uh, Building Image Classification Mobile Apps Workshop. It's the Everclass Workshop. Uh, we back it as the Everclass for the school Ever AI. So this is actually our training uh, workshop for everyone. We uh, regardless you are a student or you are a professional, you can still join us and the price is very, very, very cheap because if you are just like out there, maybe like if you try to find out any courses that is only 112 ringgit for students, you will never find one. This is the first one. Okay, so uh, scan the QR code here, scan the QR code here, and then you get to go to the registration form. If you register until 8th of May 2021, which is next Sunday, you will get the price of 160 ringgit. If you refer to a friend, you will get 112 ringgit. So for professional, which is non-student, the lowest price will be 224 ringgit. So it's, will, it's going to be two days on 29th and 30th May from 10 to 5 p.m. with one hour break. The trainers will be me. Uh, as the one that we'll do on the first day, which is on the theoretical part, you can just browse through on our website. And the second day trainer that will show you on the practical side is Dr. Sai Chong Ye. Uh, both of us, we receive a PhD from Computer Vision and Dr. Sai from Machine Learning. And that, uh, in a Machine Learning, he's from the UM and I'm from the Nagaoka University of Technology, uh, Japan. Okay, so uh, now we would like to have Dr. Sai Chong Ye on board. Okay, Dr. Sai Chong Ye, would you like to come in first? Okay. Dr. Sai? Okay, here Dr. Sai. Okay, thank you very hi, much hi. for Thank reading. you, Dr. Sai Rosa, for having me today. Okay, and thank you very much. Today we are going to be talking about introduction to computer vision. Yeah, if you let, let's move on to the next slide. Well, I, I go by the Dr. Chong and today this will be a webinar about introduction to computer vision and let's go to the next slide. Well, this webinar is not about me, it's about you. Historically, a huge percentage of the human population were working in the agricultural industry until the first industrial revolution came in. And then a lot of us moved to, into factories and worked in the manufacturing industry. Let's take a moment to think about what would happen when Industry 4.0 comes, what will it bring? And what kind of jo job scope in the future that we'll have there will be change. Well, COVID-19 has brought a lot of uncertainties into our world and a lot of people are worrying about losing their jobs. Despite all the uncertainties, there is one thing that is still certain, that the pace of digital transformation has not changed. In fact, the pace is accelerating as we speak. Digital transformation that was going to take another 10 years for it to happen has now been done in less than two years because of COVID-19. A lot of jobs, especially those in the tourism, service, industries, are not going to be reopened because they can now be done by a computer in a cheaper, better, and faster way. The question is, are we prepared enough for the transition from what we have today to the next state of equilibrium brought about by Industry 4.0? I think the transition process is going to be painful for a lot of people. Yeah, let's look at the next slide. Well, AI is replacing a lot of jobs, particularly those that are manual labor and in the 
tourism service industry, it also creates a lot of new opportunities for the skilled professionals, especially those who are working in the healthcare and tech industry. But it's not going to be favorable for everybody. Those people working in manufacturing, tourism, service, transportation, they might, they might find, find themselves in a difficult position. We have already seen the self-driving car and it's not something in the distant future. It's already here today. So back to the question, are we prepared enough for the transition? Let's look at the next slide. When we talk about AI, it is a broad topic that includes a lot of different fields. For example, we have supervised and unsupervised learning. We have chatbox, NLP, where some of you might heard of them. And of course, for what we are discussing today, the computer vision. This is a chart that shows how the technology moves from being unknown to euphoria and coming back down to the root for actual application. This has, this has been happened to the internet. And this is, after it comes back down, this is when the technology is ready for real life application. And as you can see, computer vision, this is a chart from last year. Computer vision today is by far more than ready to be applied in real life. And we can actually build something useful from it which is what we're going to show. Let's look at the next slide. What computer vision can do is basically come from these three functions, image classification, object detection, and image segmentation. In image classification, the, the model is, is able to tell you that this is a picture of a cat, but it doesn't tell you where is the cat. In object detection, it not only tells you that it's a cat and exactly where the cat is located, and Let's go a step further in image segmentation. It, it will tell you how, how, what is the shape of the cat looks like and which pixel actually belongs to the cat. Let's go, we, let's go through it one by one. Okay, next slide. In image classification, what you do is basically you show a model, a lot of pictures of a cat and dog, and you train a deep learning model, which is something at the middle here. And the model is then be able to recognize the pictures of a cat and a dog and give you an output of what, the, what, is, what is in the image itself. We actually have a demo to show you what would happen if you train a classification model with a lot of daily objects. Let, let's have a look. Let's show the demo, yeah. Well, if you are watching this, feel free to like and share our video and well, we are going to have a lucky draw for mystery gift at the end of the webinar. Please stay tuned. So what I'm going to show you here is a classification model. This classification model can actually, this is showing you live, eh? it's happening right now. And this classification model actually takes a picture of a cell phone and tells you that in the, this picture, there is a cell phone inside. We can also do it with other objects, such as a wooden spoon, well, let's try another one with a screwdriver. And let's see, what we get oh, this cup, coffee mug. Oh, the last one here, we have a water bottle. Yeah, basically this is what an object class, uh, image classification can do. And if you would like to learn how to, how to do this and how to, let's go, move back to the slide. If you would like to learn how to do this, please stay until the end of the webinar where we will have a workshop as designed to teach you hands on how to build your own classification model that you can deploy in a mobile phone to just impress your friends. And we are going to talk about is object detection. Well, in this webinar, I am not going to bore you with all the technical details and formula, but I will show you what, what the computer vision can do in today's in real life today. In object detection, basically it consists of a lot of classification moving from part, part of the image to another part of the image in a sliding window. And then it can identify at which area has the highest probability. And after that, it will plot a box where we call, which we call a bounding box in this image to identify where exactly is the object. Well, let's show you what we can do in real life. Now, this is the same mobile phone that I showed you just now. And in object detection, it can now not, not just only tells you that this is a cell phone, but also tells you exactly where is the location of the cell phone. 
Hey, if you are seeing this for the first time, please comment yes. And if you like what you are seeing, please share, like and share our videos for more people to see. And for example, this is a cup and it tells you exactly where, where the location of the cup is. This is a bottle. It actually also detect my hands and identify me as a person. And I will show you one last thing. This is a book. Yeah, basically, this is what an object detection can do. Let's look back at the slides. Well, if you like this, please like and share and comment. And if you're seeing this for the first time, please say yes. Let's, let's move back to the slides. Well, do you remember what are the three things that I just explain the last thing that I'm going to share is a uh, image segmentation. Image segmentation is actually a big improvement in computer vision, and it can be used to detect a cancer cells and also a self-driving cars. When let yeah yeah let me let, let me just share share a secret on how the self-driving cars was built. In self-driving cars, you have a camera that detect the routes, conditions, and which part of the image belongs to the routes, which part belongs to another car, and which parts actually belongs to another person. This is how the self-driving car is built, actually. And it's also very useful in detecting cancer cells in some of the healthcare. A lot of research are being done in the university. But we do, we do. We also have a demo for this image segmentation. Let's, let's move to the demo and see. Well, if you'd like to learn how, how, how all these are being done, please stay until the end of the workshop. We will have a present until the end of the webinar. We'll have a workshop for you, and we also have a lucky draw for mystery gift. Now, in image segmentation, basically, you, you tell which part of the, which part is belongs to the dining table. And for example, in this one, it tells you which part of the image belongs to the chair. Basically, that's what an image segmentation would do. Yeah, let's let's go back to the slides. And seeing a lot of you are here today, and I want to give you the best value and show you more more of uh, what computer vision can do. Let's let's go to the next next slide. Yeah, this is a bonus for what we want to show you today. It's called optical character recognition. If you have been to some of the shopping malls in Klang Valley. And they have this machine that captures your car plate numbers. And you can just pay your parking by using the car plate numbers in an app. How, how, how this is done is that there is an object detection model that detects where are your car plate and then separate each character by character and do a classification on each character to tell that what, what, what is a character that belongs there. Is it an O, is it a P, is it a T, and so on. That's one of the way to do optical character recognition, which we call OCR. And we also have a demo for this as well to just show you what we can do. So this is an OCR. And if you take a photo with uh, some, some of the text here, yeah, this is quite nice, I think. And here yeah, we can get some of the words here. And let's do another one with the contents of the books. Actually, it depends a lot. The accuracy depends a lot on the clearness of the image and the lightning and a lot of different factors. But looking at this, I think I think it's quite good in detecting the words, such as the contents. Let's have a long one and see. How the image is captured is also important to get a accurate results. Yes, here you can see, you can you, you just digitalize all the text in a book without having to type it yourself. That's what, that's something that a computer vision can do. Yeah, let's move back to the slides. And this is, uh, next slide. This is really the last thing that I want to show you today. It's called face recognition, which we actually work on it for the, in my in my work yeah in my line of work as a machine learning engineer in face recognition basically what you do is you detect a face and how, how do you tell which 
face belongs to which person. How do you do that is you have a database storing the pictures of the person and then you try to find, you try to identify which person are nearest to the face that you have detected. And let's see, let's see it in a demo to better understand it. But this is a face detection model. As you can see, it can detect my face, but it doesn't tell who am I. If we just add the pictures in. Yeah, that's me. Let me just put my name in. And there we go. It can tell me that I'm Chong. And if you have another person here, yeah, it can detect, but it doesn't tell who, who is this person. Yeah, there you go. So if you, if you just add Tony in, yeah, by the way, this live is not sponsored by AirAsia, but if you have any contact and if they would like to sponsor us, we'll be happy to talk about it. Yeah, Tony, now we added Tony. There you go. We can detect Tony. That this person is Tony and that's me. All right. Uh, that's, that's all about the face recognition. And all this can be done in your mobile. If you would like to learn how to make this app, or you, you want to train your own model on it. Yeah, stay, please stay until the end. <laughs> please stay until the end. Yeah, we have a workshop for you and we also have a mystery gift. Uh, Fairoza, yeah, that's, that's all for my demo today. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Sai Chong. Yeah, uh, Dr. Chong, it's uh, a very how it? how nice. Was it? Uh, how was yeah. it? It was very nice. I was like uh, very impressed when you get to, you know, recognize the picture even from the book. And of course, the OCR part, it was very interesting because, you know, whenever you can just like detect uh, the uh, fonts inside the, any books or whatsoever that you put it, you transition into a digital platform, then it will be very nice. Actually, ever PDPR is going to have the OCR inside our app so that the teachers doesn't have to, you know, write one by one to build the quiz and then to do, to write the description. So it's like you just scan anything scan anything from your books, your textbook, and then our OCR will take care of you. So this is what we are going to put. And another thing in facial recognition as well, you know, was like, actually one more thing that I think Dr. Sai didn't uh, show is about, you know, how you can detect whether this is a, just a mere picture or it is a real life person. So that one is a very yeah, important there part is as something, well. Yeah, something add additional value to the face recognition where you can find whether or not it's a Pick from a picture that tries to fraud the system or is a real person is lifeness detection that is also something that you can do yes yes and then we are going to put that in our ever pdpr also when students like you know uh take the quiz they will just like recognize the student face first if this is not the student then you cannot enter the quiz means like you are you know scamming something like that so we want to avoid the scamming part so this is some cool features that you are actually uh, would like to, we are going to teach you how to build it by using TensorFlow and Keras and Keras in our uh, two days training workshop. So if you want to learn about it, please join us. Yes. Okay. The next one, what we want to do is like, we want to uh, demo to you. Uh, we want to put, uh, we want to show you how we put these uh, materials in our Ever PDPR platform. For your information, the Ever PDPR, we are going to use the Ever PDPR platform for our two days training. So meaning that, uh, if you are going to join us, you, we will give you a link, a private session link to Ever PDPR, and you are going to log in there. And then uh, we are going to give the link there and all the materials, the projects, the quizzes. It just works like you are in the class with us and you can chat directly, interact with us directly as the trainers. So, and then you can discuss among your teammates inside our Ever PDPR. So it's a very cool features actually. So before that, I will give you uh, time to download our Ever PDPR so that you can do this together with us. So download the by using Google Play and App Store. We have the QR code here. Okay, let's stay for like one to two minutes so that you guys can download the Ever PDPR first, and then we will show you what Ever PDPR can do for a while. So, so I think it's a very cool stuff. I see a lot of comments here. Uh, maybe the moderator can put up some comments. That's a very good, so cool. Thank you very much. Oh, thank for you, this thank you, stuff. thank you. Thank you. Thank you so it's support. like so if you yes, thank you for your support. So if you want to you share this uh make sure to share this webinar, uh join our live and uh, join our workshops and also download the ever PDPR, okay? 
<laughs> yeah, please stay until the end. We have a workshop that teach you hands on how to work on this application, how you train your own model, and you can use it to impress your friends. Yes, exactly. You can use it to impress your friend. You can also use it to impress your pre, uh, your future recruiter when you want to get hired. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, this yeah. is another thing, yeah. lah. Yeah, because you know, uh, if you just learn theory without practical, maybe this something like you cannot bring forth forward to your recruiter, and also when you want to apply for a job. So we are yeah, going we actually to teach... spend a lot of time to learn and how to do this and how to train the model, how to deploy it and i remember when i first started there isn't a lot of like anaconda and uh, there isn't a lot of things that you can use directly and i spent three days just to set up the tensor flow with gpu can you uh, yes that? i still remember those days i think like six years ago when we first started i was like we just use matlab and open cv in the c plus plus you know so it's very difficult to do but currently we have tensorflow we have keras everything is in python you can just install the packages and then like you can run by yourself so it's like it's very interesting thing to do okay uh okay next uh let's move to the demo on the ever pdpr dr sai chong yeah Chong let me Yeh's let me book. show you let me show you how you can download the slides that i have just presented this is an application that we develop it's called ever pdpr it's actually for teaching and learning at home yeah you can see a lot of sessions are happening some are public, some are private. And if you go to search here, Introduction to Computer Vision, there you can find the slides that we share for today. It's in our, it's in our app. Let me, let me show you how, how to add the materials. This is, a, this is a session that we have today. Yeah, it's not here, I think. Yeah, you can scroll this introduction to. Yeah, there we go. Introduction to computer vision. This is my class for today. And yeah, this is the materials. If you want to add a material here, let's say, for example, you put a picture here and do introduction to computer vision. Uh, what day is today? Today is Labor Day. Yeah. Monday, twenty twenty. Yeah, first of May, and suitable to OH group. And let's just attach the picture that we just took, and see what will happen. There we go. We created the materials here where everybody can access to it and download. This is very useful for the teachers to just share their homeworks instead of having to WhatsApp and Telegram to each of the parents. Yeah, yeah, let's go back to the slides. Hi, Rosa, I think you're on mute. Okay, yes, uh, sorry about that. Okay, so this is how you upload the materials and then you get the materials from Apple PDPR. So if you want today's materials, you want to see what is happening, like what uh, what Dr. Chai, uh, Sai Chong Ye actually talking about, you can just download the Apple PDPR and go to the search materials. Actually, the webinar that I did uh, last month, I think, you can also get it from the Apple PDPR. It's about the introduction of artificial intelligence. And there is also the Python quiz inside it because we want people who want to join us to take the Python quiz first and show and see whether you are very good with Python or not. If you are not good, we are going to have another workshop called Python for Everyone. So in that workshop, we are going to teach you how to code with Python. So don't worry if your score is less than 50% or 40%, you can still join us, but we do recommend you to join our workshop, which is the Python for Everyone. Okay, let's uh, move to the next slides, I think. So today we are going, as we don't have so many times to demo to you on how to, how to, uh, we don't have so many uh like time to to demo to you what is the ever pdpr how we want to navigate all of that actually we have a youtube channel youtube playlist channel that have all the tutorials for the ever pdpr i think uh, we will put it in the comment letter so you can see so okay uh okay uh mark we are going to answer your question at the end of this uh session okay so okay now let's see the video first on how to create a session so first of all, you click add to do today's session. Uh, just now, like you know, once you want to add material, you need to put some title there. So it's just the same. You put a new session title, something like that. 
and then you put a description in the description you can also put a third party link means like your google meet uh zoom webinar and whatsoever is can be put here so you can write whatever description that describe your session so that people will understand what is your session about so uh you can see here Oh, thank you very much. We have so many response today. Stay th until the end. We are going to answer all your Q and A, uh, your questions uh, after this. And, and we don't forget the mystery. lucky draw. Yes, do we have the lucky draw? We'll okay, be giving you out see. a mystery gift to one lucky yes. winner. Yes. So this is how you create the description, lah, and then you can add any web or video meeting link. Maybe like if you store your materials inside the Google Drive or maybe Microsoft One Drive, you can put there. Okay, so is the this then uh, when you click on that uh, link, it will link to another uh, website, another application. So that is how you do it lah for the description. Okay, so the next one is you need to choose the session start date and time. So just choose any that uh, start date and time for your information. Uh, the tutorial is in Bahasa Melayu, Bahasa Inggeris and Bahasa Cina, Bahasa Mandarin. So meaning like if you don't understand English, you can understand Malay and Mandarin. Also, you can see our tutorial and also you can use our apps. Okay, so you choose the sessions and that and time. And then next, you need to choose the class. This is for the internal session. We have the public and private session as well. What Dr. Sai did is, uh, Dr. Chong Ye did in this uh, uh, course is this is for the public session. So for our workshop is going to be private session. So the internal session, you need to choose the class so that the student of your class automatically enroll in the ever PDPR, okay? So let's move to the next slide. Uh, I think like the slide become very small. Uh, okay, it's okay, I think. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, wait, uh, okay, okay, good. Okay, next is the lucky draw time. So whoever answer the question first in the comment will receive the prize. So for those uh, who receive the prize, we will contact you directly uh, from our Facebook and we will ask you for your uh, address information so that we can give you the mystery gift. So only one mystery gift. Okay, ready in your keyboard. You are ready now. Uh, stay in the keyboard. Okay, we are going to give you the, the question. We are going to give you the question and you will need to answer. Okay, let's go to the question. What is the mobile application developed by Ever AI Technologies to help teachers manage their online teaching? Well, this is a very easy question. Okay, I'm going to see to the comments who comment first. I'm very excited. What is the mobile yeah, application developed by Ever AI Technologies to help teachers manage their online teaching? So just write in the uh, answer in your comment section. Okay, good. We have the winner already. Jaya just fine. Thank you very much. Uh, no, it's not Mark. It's Jaya just fine. Okay, we are going to contact you. Uh, but if you are outside of Malaysia, unfortunately, we cannot give you the uh, gift. But if you are inside Malaysia, we are going to give you the gift. So Jaya, if you are outside of Malaysia, then we cannot give you. But if you are inside the Malaysia, we will contact you later or you just DM us. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so we have the winner. Okay. Okay, next, uh, let's move. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, congratulations. You. Congratulations, Jaya. <laughs> okay, so next week, we are going to have the Ever PDPR live showcase and we will have another uh, lucky draw uh, in the Ever PDPR. So we are going to show you how the student, the teachers uh, create the session, the student automatically enroll, and then how the teachers is going to build a quiz. And we also have in-app grading for the marking session. In, uh, for the marking materials, the marking uh, grading, the homeworks. So it's a very like convenience. If in Japanese, we call this as Benri, which is very convenient for the teachers and students to use. Okay, so stay tuned with us next week from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Okay, so before we close, we have about 10 to 30 minutes uh, to answer all the questions. If you have any questions, post in the comments and we are going to answer you. I think we have a question from Mark just now. Uh, can yeah, the... I think it is about the progressive web application like yes. a web api yeah yeah this yes. can be done in a web api where you can just send a link and two image for example and it tells you whether or not it's the same person or or a different person in face recognition or you can send an image and it tells you it's an image of a cat or a dog yeah it can be done in the web api yes yes thank you very much for the if you have any question just just put in the comment just put in the comment mm. then you we can we can just we can just like answer your question. Hmm. 
yeah please stay tuned also if you want to learn how to do the application yourself how you can you can train it with your own data you, you don't have to yes. ne necessarily use what we have trained like detecting the self your own cats for example you have 10 different cats and you you want to see which cat which cat is in front of the camera and you can train it with your own pictures of your cats yeah okay we have another question what is what ide do you use for the development uh, we actually use uh, microservices to to do each of the functions but for the for the for the computer vision and machine learning is actually native in android app you can you can also do it in uh, ios it's just the same model but you have you just import the model that you have trained and put it into your application yeah okay so it's, I think it's all online you can you can learn it online of course it, uh, all the informations are online but okay. it, it took it take a long time to actually debug and find out where how you can train and there is a lot of uh, industry secrets in training a model that have high accuracy and and a uh, very high speed yeah that that are what we can teach you in the workshop in the coming workshop okay so uh i think aside another question I think for this ide during the training what will be the ide that we are going to teach them to use for this course oh well, you for will need uh, you will need the uh, anaconda you need preferably a pc with a good gpu and also android studio if you have an android phone and yeah there is another one for the ios yeah yeah, yeah thank you thank you Mark. <laughs> yes android studio or vs code yes that, uh, exactly so i think like for the first day the day one when i'm going to teach you it's going to be theoretical so i'm going to teach you in the jupyter notebook so that like we will see the walkthrough one by one how you are going to do the uh, neural networks and everything so then the in the second day because you are going to build the model in the uh, mobile apps then we are going to use android studio or vs code okay so the next question will be from the way chong is python the prerequisite for the course uh, Fairosa, you want to take the question? Okay, so yes, of course, Python is the prerequisite for the course. That's why I asked you to go into the Evo PDPR, answer the quiz of the Python quiz, and see where is your Python level. If you are not very good in Python, we have the Python for everyone workshop. So join that workshop first and then can join this one. Because in the first day, we just do Python recap for one hour, and then later we will just teach you what is the computer vision and everything. Okay, so definitely is a prerequisite okay we have another question what framework did you use uh, we used the jupyter notebook to train the model and you want to load the data in and so you you use yeah you, you definitely need to know some python yeah unfortunately but we don't worry about it we also have a python class coming next month uh, it's going to take some time to prepare all that but yeah stay tuned stay tuned okay so okay if you have any question just feel free feel free to ask feel free to ask okay so i think like okay uh the next question will be if you don't have any question i have a question for dr sai chong yeah okay <laughs> how <laughs> how long yeah, have yeah. you been in this field of the computer vision actually maybe you yeah, can i think six years when i started to do my phd 2014 yeah that's about six years and i used to join a lot of workshops as well last time and these workshops are priced about 300 for students and 1000 2000 for professionals yeah some of the workshops are priced until 6000 which i couldn't afford okay so we have another question from shuria amiruddin are you using gcp to store the data uh gcp which google I... cloud platform oh no 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 it's a local data yeah you can use gcp as well Okay, in our company, we use AWS a lot because we are a part of AWS Activate program. But if you want to use GCP, actually, uh, there's a tool in the GCP for the computer vision. I'm also uh, one of the certified, I think not certified, like I, I take a lot of GCP courses as well. But for the cloud platform, once you know AWS, you will know GCP and then you will know Azure as well because the mechanism is almost the same. Okay, we have another question from Sarah Pao for mobile app. What language you use? Java, is it? Yeah, for, for the Android, is Java. For the iOS, it's Xcode or something. I wasn't sure Yeah, because I work mostly on Android at the moment. It's Java, yes. yeah. Yes, okay. 
I think it's Java for the mobile app mostly. Okay, so the next question from the Wei Chong again, do we need to download the apps before joining the workshop? Well, you can, you can. We are going to prepare you a list to do before you can join the workshop because we are not going to waste time setting up in the workshop because it will take whole days. We yes. only have two days to teach you. Okay, yes. Uh, uh, so Gan, yeah, this question is from Brian Ho. Okay. Are you going to teach Gan for image generation? Yes. Uh, not at the moment, not at the moment, but uh, in future. Okay, uh, let, me, let me answer this question, I think. Brian Ho, actually, our computer vision workshop, we have three to four series. The first series uh, for these two days is the image classification. The next one will be object detection and the next following one will be the image segmentation. Because you see object detection, you already see the demo, right? Object detection, image segmentation, even the gun for image generation is totally different thing. We are going to have this workshop to teach gun for image generation. I also did a lot of like gun stuff uh, in my previous company and also during my uh, when I was an assistant professor. So definitely if you want uh, us uh, to to go for the gun for image generation we will have it i think in the one to two months time stay tuned always see our website evertechnologies.com that uh, slash school ever ai so we can get uh, you can get the latest information or follow our facebook okay we have another question from the way chong besides object detection what ai can do for image data uh, if you remember the three things that i explained at the beginning is image classification object detection and image segmentation and uh, it's like a stage by stage like image classification is the basic entry and then you have the next stage using object detection to also tell us where where is the position of the objects and uh, image segmentation is like the next step to object detection and of course it requires a lot more difficulties, complexities in labeling the data and also training the model. Yeah, but we have already figured out in the, I think I think it took me about a few months to do the image segmentation. Yes, image segmentation is very challenging thing, I think. Like in object detection, we have YOLO V3, we have mass RCNN, there's so many things. There's so many transfer learning that it can do you like di directly. Uh, we are going to teach you about transfer learning as well so that you don't need to teach, you don't need to build your model from scratch. Uh, because if you want to build model from scratch, you need to be like Google, Amazon, you need to have a very powerful GPU, I think. Okay, we have another question, but in the course, more coding or theory? Uh, the first day will be conducted by Pyroza, yeah. So uh, you, yeah, in them, my yeah. course, yes, in my day one course, I will do theory plus coding. So the first one will be Python decap, and then after that we will go move one by one from neural networks. So you're going to build a multi-layer perceptron uh, from scratch by using uh, Keras. And then from there, I'm going to teach you what is really neural networks, like how you want to uh, learn everything, how you want to feed and how you want to split your data and everything. And then later, we will move to the CNN. And then the next day, Sai will, uh, Dr. Chong will introduce on the how to do the practical part on yeah, how to deploy the Yeah, for the second day, we will be doing a lot of workshop. We will be doing, we will be doing a, a lot of work. You have to be committed to join the workshop. Yeah, and you will be doing all the work. Yes, yes. And then like, I really recommend like when uh, whenever we are teaching, you are on your PC, you code with us, code along us. So if you code along us, you will get it directly, you know. If you didn't code along us, you just see whatever we are coding there, you know. That is not a very good way to learning, like I would say. Okay, we have another question. I don't have knowledge on Java or Swift. Is it hard to catch up? Oh, for this, for, for deploying the app, you don't really need to know Java or Swift. Uh, you just have to re you just have to know how to replace the model. There is already a sample code available by the Google and Apple. You just you just need to like replace the model with the model that you have trained. Yes, because in this uh, workshop, we are not going to teach you Java or Swift. What we teach you is how to build the image classification mobile apps by using Python mostly. So the most important part is you are able to train your machine learning model by using Python. Okay. Yeah, if you want to join the workshop, I think there is a Google form. There is a link to a Google form. Ah, the link to the Google form is you can scan the QR code of the poster. You see, there is a QR code with ever school ever AI logo there. Just scan the QR code. Is it? Uh, this is the Google form. Okay, another question. So, what to prepare for joining the workshop? Uh, Fairosa, you want to take this? Okay, so because the day one is for me, right? So for me, it's like I will give you all the instruction how to 
uh, set up the Jupyter Notebook, how to install the packages. I believe you all will have like uh, knowledge on Python. That's the most important thing. And then later, if you have time, then we can, uh, you can set up the GitHub as well because we are going to, I'm going to use a lot of GitHub as well. But the most important thing is Jupyter Notebook and Python and all the packages need to be installed. Okay, so any other question? Okay, if we don't have any more questions, we are almost arrived at 11.40 a.m. Actually, we are planning to have this for 40 minutes to one hour. So I think like most importantly, download our ever PDPR, uh, take the Python quiz class, uh, not the take, uh, Python quiz, uh, Python quiz in the quiz of the ever PDPR in the search materials. So you get to know where is your Python level. It's a very easy quiz. It's a very easy quiz, I don't know, like, because I'm also the Python trader, so I get 100% for it. I think like most of us, we get 80, 70, 60%. It's just 10 questions. So if you get below 50, don't worry. Uh, you, we are going to give you the Python for Everyone workshop as the recommendation so that you will understand Python more. So before you join our class, our workshop. So our workshop will be on 29 and 30 May. Uh, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. with one hour break, the trainers will be Dr. Sai chong -Yeh and me, Dr. Fireza, on the first day, Dr. Sai will take on the second day. So if you register until 8th of May 2021, you will get 160 ringgit for a student and 320 ringgit for a professional. But then if you recommend a friend, we will give you a code uh, to recommend to your friend. And then if you use the code, your friend use the code, uh, we will detect it and then we will give we will reimburse your money for the discounted amount so you will get 112 only for a student and 224 for professional so if you would like to learn uh, to build image classification mobile apps by using python mainly and then to show off to your friends to show off to the recruiter for your future works okay so join us join us in this 29 13 may so oh, by the way week, by the way by yeah? the way this is the first time we conduct the web web workshop, online workshop, and we are going to be taking 20 people, first come, first serve. Yes, first come, first serve. I forgot to mention that. We are also yeah. limiting our class to 20 people only because we because don't want if to... You, if you miss this, you have to join the next session in June. And yes. Yeah, yes. we will see how, how many people mm. register for because, this. And yeah. we can only why, take why 20. Yes, why we limit to 20 people only because we don't want, we want to have like one-to-one -one interaction with the 20 people in the workshop. We don't want to have like 50 people and then we don't know whether you are doing it or not and everyone is so crowded. Because I have like, I previously an assistant professor in Japan, so I teach about 50 students in the class and sometimes 60, 70, but the most ideal people in the class is 20. Because if I have 20 students, I get to see what my students are doing. So this is what I'm going to do in the online class as well. I would like to have only 20 students in the workshop. So first come, first serve. If you didn't grab the price now, you won't get this price forever. You won't get this price after 8th of May 2021. So in the next uh, session as well, in the next workshop as well, we might not give you this kind of uh, discount because our first price, our if you see in our website, the normal price is 2,000 for professional and 1,000 for students. So this price is only for now, okay, for now. So just grab it. So, and then like, if you would like us to do the corporate training for your factory, for your school, for your companies or any like corporate or whatsoever, actually we are HRDF claimable. So, I mean, it's like your company can uh, claim from HRDF. So just uh, yeah, we also us. We also have a blockchain workshop in the future. Just keep, yes. uh, like our Facebook page and keep yourself updated. Yes, yes, that's definitely. So just contact us separately. So I think that's all for today. Thank you very much, everyone, yeah, for thank joining you, us. Thank you, thank thank you, you very much. It support. was a very exciting to see all of you here. And then stay tuned and don't forget uh, to share, like, watch, and also, you know, to like our Facebook page. And yeah, YouTube. keep keep up with our updates. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.